Ladies and gentlemen, extra. How's it, bro? What's up, my brother? What's up, my brother? Good lady, Dad. We in the building. Extra. Yeah. See stage names. We have extra. We have RT Dope. We have Psychic. Man. Neurofibro mutation. Yeah. I don't know what that means. <laughs> extra. How's it, bro? <laughs> Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show, man. Extra from Waterfall. Yeah. Before we go further, bro, please introduce yourself to the fans. Tell them who you are, where you're from, what do you do? Hey, yo, man, I'm just a small boy from Waterfall, man. It's in Limpopo, small town. It's not even a town, it's a luxury, to be precise. You know what I'm saying? Town to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know Alright, extra, welcome to the show, bro. Thank you so much for coming, and congratulations on your music journey. You're doing very well, bro. I appreciate it, man. Not everyone in Waterfall is doing what this guy is doing. Yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So extra rap. When did you first hear about Rap Type Meg? Yo man, the first time I heard about Rap Type Meg was probably six years ago on Facebook. Six years ago? I've been following y'all, man. I the hell are you all the time? Yeah, I think <laughs> I like 14 shit. Yeah? Yeah, man, I used to see our freestyles on that shit, man. Flip! Yeah. But why didn't you hear us up like long? Because like you only hit us up uh, last year, right? Yeah, I thought y'all were like in Jersey side. Hey. <laughs> Flair. Yeah, really? I, yeah, I was in the Popo by that time, so I thought maybe how far from my reach or that shit, you know. Damn. Oh yeah, by the time yeah, yeah, there was a time when we were in Kauteng yeah. and then we came back here. But it's we should have hit us up. Maybe we wish we would have reached you up, you know, and then yeah, yeah, but it was bound to happen. I mean, look where we are now, man. Believe that. You feel me? Believe that. For sure. So, extra, bro. Yeah. Why the name extra start there? Why extra? Hey, yo, man, I, I think I was at grade five at that time, and I asked myself, like, what makes me special, you know? And then I thought I was an extraordinary guy. Wait a minute. Grade five? Yeah. So, which means you started rapping when you went in grade five? Yeah, but, like, it wasn't that hardcore rapping. It was but just, still. Poetry, how many rappers do we have like one and grade five like yeah. few straight straight okay you started rapping while you're in grade five straight you also came up with the name extra while you're in grade five straight because a lot of guys may start rapping at the very young age but uh the thought of coming with uh nickname it's crazy bro <laughs> And like extra. It. Why extra? Oh, yeah, you you, you yeah. explain that. Like, I, I asked myself what makes me special, you know, so I thought I was an extraordinary guy, so I just dropped the ordinary and just called myself extra. extra. Yeah. Flip. But that's... Okay, should I come up with something like Reverb or something like that? <laughs> I came up with a lot of names, man. I yeah. first called myself Maxwell. Then I found out there's another Maxwell I found out on Channel O. Oh, Flip. Yeah. I was trying to make my name look like... Because that time Casper Universe was pumping, so I thought maybe people are gonna vibe with a name, surname type shit, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I call myself Extra Ordinary. And then we dropped the Ordinary, and then it just became Extra because I love Flip. doing fans. Every time I meet somebody new, they put their own names after Extra, so that makes it more special, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. So, Waterfall, you represent Waterfall. So the extra, yeah. Uh, what's your real name, by the way? Uh, my name is Libuani Nesengani. Are you are you Lester's brother? Nah, nah, I don't know no Lester, but I'm. You don't know Lester? Yeah. Hey, Lester, he's the team brother. <laughs> okay, yeah. cool. Oh, so uh, Lester is also a Nesengani guy, by the way. All oh, right, oh, the Nesenganis are crazy sure. in a good way, but then yeah. So okay, between Libuani and extra. Yeah. Who do you like the most and why? I think I like Extra better because Lebuani is a shy guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a stay at home body. Doesn't get ma- much into the mix and shit, you know? Oh, yeah? Yeah, but the Extra is the one that brings the fire, you know? I understand. Yeah. So, how did you get um, Extra out of Lebuani? Because Lebuani is shy. Yeah. And obviously you were live one, so you still live one. But then extra, live one gave birth to extra. Straight. That how did that come? Like how did extra come out of live one as as a shy guy? We had to kill live one, bro. We had to murder him. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it, it was either extra replaces live one or the dream doesn't come true anymore, right? Oh, yeah. damn! I understand that. Yeah. 
But it wasn't that hard though somehow. It was, it was because I had to let go of what I believed in first. And oh, flip. What people told me I was like, yo, you're this type of person, you're this type of person. So yeah. I knew I had to reinvent myself, you know. Uh-huh. I knew what people what, what people said about me wasn't true. I can always change it into something else, you understand? Oh, in order to get what I want. So I had to remake another me. You know Wish saying. everyone should do that. Shout out. You know? Yeah. yeah. So but then okay. What what got you into hip hop? What got me into hip hop? In like, grade five. I just loved how they were doing it. I just loved the type of hype it came with, the yeah. type of buzz it came with, the type of yeah. inspiration it gives me. Yeah. You feel me? I just wanna change people's lives with my songs, man. But during your grade five, um, I don't know, times, yeah. who were you listening to? I was listening to Casper and Vest, Eminem, uh, yeah. a couple of, I don't remember more of them, but Casper and Vest was high up there, MT was high up there. Was it by the time of uh, Gusheshe or? Yeah, oh, by yeah. the time of Gusheshe when Casper oh, yeah. was still uh, uh, ranking up six awards in one night. Oh, the Pony yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I saw that as inspiration and I always looked at him and I was like, I want to be that guy. Yeah. Well, is that why you painted your hair gold? No, Because no, no. <laughs> Casper once painted his hair gold. For real? Yeah, by the time, uh, which album went platinum? Uh, is it sort of fair or something? Yeah. Yes, sort of album went platinum, then it started painting his hair gold. That's crazy. Bro. I thought maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. Casper was inspiring me back in the day, but now I got new inspirations. And, um, that that's all? Uh, actually myself, actually, uh, maybe MT inspires me a lot too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but more overseas now than local. Oh, yeah. nice. Well, wow, that's, that's, that's nice there. Okay, cool. Extra, bro. When you performing? Yeah. In your hood. Okay, look. Uh, you once performed in your hood, right? For real. Uh, in Vatterfall and uh, Pretoria, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. In my hood, I performed in Vatterfall and Penny. Ilium, yeah. And then in in, in Houting, yeah, where did you perform? There I perform in PTA, Soshangu, there. Yeah. Yeah, Central to be exact. I had no problem. So, uh, performing in your hood, in yeah. Butterfly and Penny and all that, yeah. and then performing in, 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 in uh, Houting. Yeah. Where did you see the vibe and, and, and why do you think that was like that? Um, damn. Yeah. It's <laughs> a crazy question, bro. No, but then, you know. You know yeah. I mean, so, some sort of uh, 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 Limpopo parts where I performed that, they wasn't feeling me like that. But when I, I took my, my stuff to Guiani, oh, yeah. that's when my shit elevated. That's when I saw that, nah, this is power for real. Yeah. And then when we took it to Houteng, it just became a it was big more buzz. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's just different locations. They listen to different type of music and they feel you different, you know. But okay, fine. Cause like, uh, Vatterfall and Penny is like your hood, Straight. and GY is not really your hood, Straight. and uh, how they PTA and you know, all that. That's not your hood. Straight. How come the vibe is more higher where you like uh, to, to those places where you 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 don't rep- you represent? If I'm gonna say like that. I don't know, bro. But I guess it's in the same where they say like if you get out your hometown. You really gonna get what you want, you know. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you just gotta leave where you come from. I mean, we saw it when Elon Musk uh, left South Africa. Yeah. We saw it. Like yeah. We start to 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 to, to pay respect to him. Yeah. But then why is it like that? Cause like anybody charity begins at home. Bruh. So like we should be uh, going cra- more crazy when extra performs at Mpeni and Vatterfall. Straight. Than when extra performs at GY and PTA. Straight. I guess people don't see the vision right at that time because they saw you growing up there, so they think. Ah, it didn't there. Yeah. No, yeah. it's not good though. Yeah. It's not good, girl. Cause hey, <laughs> <laughs> I was about to get into politics, but it's not good. I mean, like, okay, let's just go to support. Yeah. Yes, and all that. Mara charity begins at home. Logo, logo, logo. Ngaku minga ukurisi, but mara kaya. Who's going to kuris us? You understand? Yeah. Because like they should be vibing on you because they know you because you're a homeboy, you know, you're doing something that is going to make Vatterfall different. 
you know, yeah. putting Butterfly on the map. I know it's on the map, but then, you know, like making the name big. Straight. You understand? Yeah. But the vibe is, and when you get out there, the vibe is like this. It's crazy, bro. What can we say, man? People only support you when they see that you don't got the flames from somewhere else. Now they want to hop on the wave, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Yeah. All right, okay, enough about the politics. So, extra. Yeah. The first song that made a lot of people to love you, the first song that made people to go like, what the hell? Yeah. Tell me about the song, bro, and tell me what happened. Damn, man, that song is Zamazam. Zamazam. Yeah. Do, you, do you know a, 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 a TV show called Zamazama? Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> we were still young by the time. Yeah, oh, yeah we were still young, yeah. So the song is called Zamazama. I made it while I was still coming up. It actually made me win my first uh, talent show. Flip. Yeah. This guy wins uh, talent shows, okay? Yeah. So, yeah, that song changed my life, you know what I'm saying? Believe that. Yeah. So, like, oh, okay. Were you performing it or people just heard it on the phones? And the yeah, I was performing it, man. We were actually trying to, because the, the record label exec that was at yeah. was hosting a talent show, right? Oh, yeah. So we had to make music to go and perform and mm-hmm. see if the crowd is going to love it or what. Yeah. So I, we used to sleep at the studio, so I made Zamazama at the studio because I really wanted to win that award. Oh. So everything came into full tuition and then everything just... Let me ask you a crazy question. Yeah. Okay, for, you, you mentioned sleeping at the studio. Yeah, for sure. While you're trying to record the Sama Sama song, for you sure. became a banger. Yeah. Do you think it would have been different if you didn't like maybe like do the sleepless nights at the studio? No, nah, it wasn't gonna be different. But what? Why did you have to like go sleepless nights? Sleepless nights. Like, what was it? Was it recorded in due time, Kumbe? Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, well, uh, the reason why we slept in the studio is we were trying to learn new stuff. Oh. Because after we did that song, we made many more songs, and I was still like a beginner in production and stuff. Oh, yeah, I as understand. a rapper, too. So I had to take some notes from the big rappers that were in the studio. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the OGs of the game. Mara, okay, what, is the, what do you think is the reason why people record midnight or maybe like they do sleep that's nice while recording done during the day it's the passion uh, uh the second thing i say it's very quiet in the night so you, oh. you get to be yourself you know yeah. and you know in the daytime it's a lot of motherfuckers in the studio they, oh yeah from sometimes you can't really express yourself maybe you want to make a sad song but you don't want to cry in front of that nigga or that nigga but, yeah. but okay fam there's a uh, there's a statement that akon said that Eminem, yeah. um, what did he say? He says Eminem yeah. goes to the studio by 9 o'clock yeah. and he knocks off at 6 o'clock. That's crazy. The nigga doesn't record during the night. I'm guessing that's post his success because now he has kids to get back to. Now he has a big mansion to get back to. You oh. know? But it's still kills though. I mean, like, early in the beginning stages of his career, I'm sure he was. He was to, yeah. 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 Ah, uh, flip, yeah, yeah. Now I do understand. Yeah. Hey, but then, uh, okay, but still, like, still, niggas still do their sleepless nights. For my party, is uh, they don't yeah. sleep. Those guys. Yeah, they don't sleep. Yeah. Flip. Do you smoke? Uh, I can't say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't be sponsored. I'm cool. I was about to ask you like some some crazy question, but it was not really a crazy question because like I heard that people who smoke, yeah. they become more creative than people who don't smoke. Or maybe like, okay, people are creative, but when they smoke, they become more creative. Do you believe in that statement there? Okay, beside the, I don't know, the question, or maybe like, you smoking or not, Mara, do you believe, Korea, when people are high, are yeah. becoming more creative than when they're sober? Yeah, I do believe that, because I've seen some rappers that took some, and then they just became more spectacular. But there are some rappers who are killing the shows and they don't smoke. Yeah, they are. So do you believe, Korea, if they can smoke, they'll be like, worse? I'm not sure. I'm just guessing everybody has that type of vices, you know? Can I say, oh, it's bro. It's so good. Can I is already killing it, man. I'm yeah, just but then, I, I, I know when I really, like, you believe, Korea, when, when, when people are, uh, when people smoke, yeah. they'll become more creative. And Can is very creative, by the way. Yeah. So if he smokes, you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's going to be crazy, man. 
I could, yeah. I could, I understand, bro. Okay, uh, so like I was having a conversation with Dutch boy, uh, the plug yesterday. Oh yeah. We were talking about Hubley. Oh yeah. We had an argument, you know, about Hubley, you know, that the danger of Hubley, you know, you know, and stuff like that. Okay, what do you think about Hubley's then? Do you think it's like dangerous? As it, okay, it is dangerous, but then do you think it kills? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but it is dangerous. I mean, that's a lot of smoke coming into your yeah. lungs and shit. Yeah. It's different from a cigarette or weed. Okay, but when it when we, when we we research on 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 the internet, yeah, when we research the statistics of people who are dying uh, 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 through cigarettes, yeah, they show us thousands, like two hundred and something thousand per year. Yeah, but when we check the statistics of Hubley, there's no clear articles there. I mean, Hubley's new in the game, so we can't oh, really compare why. to a cigarette because a cigarette been here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I guess we're going to see from this year ongoing because it's been publicized this year. I go to this thing, is a no, no, no more. Oh. I mean, I'm seeing motherfuckers doing that shit into the toilet, pit toilets and on TikTok. Yeah. So other motherfuckers are taking the message well, other motherfuckers are still being stubborn. So we're going to see if more motherfuckers going to die or not. Mm, yeah. Okay, cool. Do you smoke? Okay. <laughs> you know, the nigga doesn't want to talk about like the, the hobbies and. Okay, let's skip that. But, I will, but that wasn't this really interesting like conversation that I was about to bring up. But then it's cool. It's yeah. cool. So, so when you're performing then, yeah. what is it that you like most about the fans? I like them when they're screaming. When they're saying exactly what I tell them to say. Oh, when they go along. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And the girls, yeah, like, the girls be going crazy, bro. They be throwing their hands. And they throw yeah, their bras yeah, on the stage. Nah, I ain't never heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you wish that could happen, maybe? Yeah, for sure, sure. I love the times, I love the lives. We're going to see what's up. Flip. You know, I, I wish as well, because, like, you know, like, Asha, Drake, Straight. Chris Brown, you know, they will be throwing them bars, the, the bras, the, the, the underwear on stage yeah, yeah. and all that. But I, I I don't really see a lot of that happening in South Africa, though. Shit, I, I think I saw Blackie uh, post. Blackie? Yeah, they threw in bras on stage, so it's possible too. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because it's just rare. Yeah. Because, Valley, you know, these girls become all their boyfriends and shit, so maybe she <laughs> won't throw <laughs> But we do have some thoughts and some hoes that really want to give it to you, my brother, you know. I mean, you're killing it on stage. Ah, so you, are you are you requesting them to do that? Maybe. No, nah, they just do it on their own. You know? just when, you, when you're really it. killing it, oh, so they yeah. fall in love with you right there and then, and they just feel like, yo, bruh, this nigga can't have me. Believe that. Straight. So okay, uh, let's talk about girls. Yeah. yeah. Girls. Do you have the song that talks about girls, or maybe do you have the song that most girls? go crazy when they listen to it yeah for sure i got a song called stay in my scars album okay. makes the girls go crazy bro okay why why did they go crazy all over the song uh first of all i think they like the girl's voice too on the song second thing i, I think they really like what i was saying on the song because oh you saw so you featured someone yeah i featured someone called Teho. Uh, she comes Teho. from nothing Teho, cape. you should come here Shout out Teho. what from from nothing cape play that Teho, yeah. you should come here you know? straight yeah yeah, so, okay, so they like her voice, yeah, and they like what you were saying. Yeah. Were you saying some nasty things? Nah, I was just saying some real connection vibes shit, you know. Was it, is it a love song? Yeah, it's kind of a love song. You mind, like, us playing it? Nah, nah, y'all can play it. Alright, what's the name of the song again? Stay. Uh, stay. Every social media platform, every streaming platform, Stay, featuring Teho. Extra it's on the latest stay. album, right? Yeah. My, my, my DJ. Play stay, please. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's on the latest album. Yeah. Okay, before we pl- we 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 we'll play what my DJ selects in there. Yeah. Tell us about the whole album, bro. The whole album, uh, was inspired by uh, how I had scars all over my body, and I just felt like I should accommodate each and everybody that got scars. You know what I'm saying? That Flip. That's what we go through. It's the wars we really go through, man. Y'all yeah. should embrace that stuff because. You know, girls love you too. I see them touching a little bit, asking me, yeah. what happened here? You like, play, bro. No, nah, I'm not a player. I'm not a peep. <laughs> I'm not a peep. Why am I getting a feeling that, like, most of the songs, or maybe most of the, the songs that you write about, is all about girls? Uh, it's because it's my life, you know. So, uh, so girls is your life? 
Yeah, I mean, I, what? I, I made a couple girls that, that inspire the song, some of the and songs. And you played them? No, it's not really play. I just be getting experiences and then I take them to the studio, you know. Oh, we're getting its skeletons out. Experience, what kind of experience is it? Ah. Okay, we'll talk about that <laughs> later after playing Stay, right? Stay, yeah. Yeah, extra Stay, Extra, yeah. Believe that. You mind singing along? Yeah, for sure. I can give you a little performance. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Extra, Stay. Yeah. If you want to stay. Oh, wow, we are this one too, right? I featuring me. <laughs> I've been thinking about you lately. It's a classic thing. Can you wait for me, baby? Would you stay, please? Would you stay, please? Would you stay, please? Was so nice. I get on my knees. I'll do as you please. If you go, then I miss you. If you broke, then I fix you. My love for you, nothing scalable. My people know I'm unavailable. You're my my rival. Hey. You can tell them set Kunjalo. Hey. So you know my style is gin. And some nights I cry, crib. Yeah. Telling stories about the kid. Girl, I know you won't believe. My love for you, nothing's available. My people know I'm unavailable. You're my my rival. Hey. You can tell them set Kunjalo. That was it? You lied! Yeah. Hey bro! Okay, pause. Yeah. Wait, that was the whole song? Yeah, that was the whole song, but they fell in love with our verse shit. But I have a problem with a lot of niggas. Dizzy V, uh, <laughs> Smitty Wend, MJ, yeah. now it's extra. Why do you guys write one verse on the song? Now nah, people love the melody. People love repetition. Bro. I understand, but like, okay, how much? How many? How many minutes that the, the does the song plays? Like it has to be two minutes or something. Yeah, two minutes. Some, some. It's just that I won't let the DJ play the whole song. I understand. Some already done did in the but, of the shit. Yeah. But okay, cool. Uh, this that okay. Mena, what I want to understand is, yeah. do you guys are you guys lazy to write more verses? No, it's not about being lazy. It's about making a hit song. But a hit song as uh, normally I don't know, but loma normally a song. Let, 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 let me uh, educate you on a hit song, right? Uh, okay. Yeah. We have whiskey. Yeah. Juru, juru, juru. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know that one. Casper. Yeah. Dark, dark, she plays. Yeah. She plays. Yeah. Now we got extra stay. Would you stay, please? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. Repetition. People love to to fall in love because I I've been to a lot of concerts and I seen what they love. You understand? People love to catch something off the grip. Yeah. So I have a problem with motherfuckers that come into the studio when we're doing a song. They try to write like crazy oh. verses, try to put so many sentences inside. I'm like, yo, my nigga, people are not gonna relate to this shit. And mostly, too much of everything yeah, is it's, it's dangerous. Kind of bad, you know? So when when a person hears something repeating, they quickly to catch it. You understand? Then they can sing along to it. So we started the game, and then we just did what was working. Flip. Yeah. So I'm putting a lot of rappers on game, you know what I'm saying? Now you can make a hit song. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Marabra, you... That song was very short. <laughs> nah, it's not that short. It's just that I couldn't let the DJ play the whole song. I mean, I got more oh. of it up. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, now I understand. Yeah. Oh, no, no, now I understand. Because, like, yeah, I thought, like, that was it. Oh, yeah. oh, I thought that was the whole song. And I was, like, wondering why didn't you write more? Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now I do understand. Yeah, I'm educated, man. <laughs> cool. So, uh, bro, let's play a little game. Yeah. It's a little quiz, you know. Aye, aye. Um, I'm gonna ask you like maybe like two things, two items, two people, and then if you choose one. If you choose one, that person stays, or maybe that item stays. Aye. The other one. Phew. 
disclaimer, I don't hate anybody, I'm going to not choose. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just a game. Alright, go. Cool. Aries, Nasty C. Who stays, who leaves? Nasty C. Stays, Aries leaves. Alright, cool. Why? Uh, Nasty C took it to the top. Uh, we can't say that's not true. Right, I cool. mean, Aries is dope. I respect this craft and everything, but I just feel like I'm more of an SDC fan than an Aries fan. Yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. Sign free, can I? Damn, bro. Got you that. Uh, I'm gonna go with sign free because I know more personally than K Nice. Yeah. Non personally, how? Yeah, we was gigging together. Uh, I I mentioned it on a song called Trending on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah. I'm up. Yeah, I will ask you about something about that 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 song after this. Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. Cool. I was, uh, uh, there's a line that says, "I put on a trap to sign free." But to oh. take it popping, oh. but stupid tour in the morning. So I was mentioning that I was trapping out with Sam Free and Giani. Mm-hmm. Back to hotel, get it popping, cause Flip, yeah. yeah, and then but stupid tour in the morning, yeah, that type of shit, cause I had to get back to school and shit. Believe that. Yeah. Battle drip. I'm gonna fuck with drip, cause we got more promo <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> what about Batu, bro? Ah, Batu, I haven't heard about Batu in a couple of months, bruh. Really? Yeah, but drip. You ever seen drip? Where you go and how dang shit? Wait, but I, I I thought drip was quite falling because like yeah, some stores were like closing and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I like also about it is endorsed the hip hop cat, which is Casper Your Vest. So I'm oh always yeah, fuck with it. Yeah. It's like Family Tree X yeah. drip. Yeah, so I'm always going the hip hop side. You know what I'm saying? Believe that. Skomota, Shabishi. Yeah, this, this, this who are trending right now. I'm gonna go with Sheva Sheep, man. What? Why? Why uh, Sheva? Like why not Skomota? Pers- I like his personality a little better. I mean, Skomota is a dancer and all that, but <laughs> after that, he ain't got nothing else to give, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. MT 25K. Damn, bruh. You can't do that to me. MT <laughs> or 25K? Yeah. Who you go with? I'm gonna go with MT because he's been in the game longer. And 25? 25 for love, my homeboy, man. I see what you're doing, bro. I like you so much, man. But uh, I'm going to go with MT. <laughs> MT put me on so I can go past my OGs. You know what I'm saying? By the way, you've been on a, a same video yeah. with with 25K, right? Yeah, for was sure. Was it 25? These are guys were like doing the, 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 the street uh, quizzes and all that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was 25K. Yeah, yeah. they were like checking the drip check and all that. You yeah. need stuff like that. Yeah. All right, cool. So, but that day, did you meet 25K? Yeah, that was his event, actually. Oh, that was his event? Yeah. Oh, believe that. Oh, did you perform there? Nah, I didn't perform. I was just there to support my homie. Oh, yeah. but you didn't choose him? Yeah, because, yeah. There's <laughs> uh, a lot of how they in politics that we don't want to uh, yeah. Us, yeah. All right, cool. All right, cool. So, but then, okay, did you have a conversation with the guy? Yeah, we had a conversation up in VIP, but like, you yeah. know what, when it's time to work, it's managers involved, it's money oh. involved, it's labor. Oh, you wanted involved. to work with him? Of course I want to work with him. Why do you want to work with 25, bro? He's the plug. What you mean? <laughs> 25K the plug, man. All right, good. So like, if you were to say something to 25 right now, what would you say, bro? Hey, yo, man, I hope everything's going good, man. I hope you're taking care of your family, bro. I hope you're showing everybody love, man. I can't wait to work with you, bro. I like you so much. Shout Believe that. 25, okay, yeah. 25 will show have you here, bro. I will have you here Straight. when time goes by. Yeah. When Reptile Man becomes a big thing. A big thing. Straight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, cool. Extra, bro. Again, congratulations on your music journey. You're doing very well, bro. Appreciate it. Where do we go with Extra from now? More stadiums to fill up, more albums to produce, more EPs to come out, more bitches to fuck. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> we gotta travel the world, man, to yeah. sound international, you know what I'm saying? Believe that. Yeah. Hey, bro, okay, why, why more bitches to fuck? I don't know, I just feel like girls inspire me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> to I mean, do music? You no, know, like they give me something to talk about in my songs. You know? Oh! Yeah, so every experience is different, so I just take that experience and then I take it in the song form. So I'll be talking about my experience <laughs> and shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's talk about Vatarfal then. Uh, who do you look up to? I love, okay, let me just combine Vatarfal and Irene. Damn, bruh. 
Not or maybe answer. okay. Let's not let's not talk about who you look up to. Maybe you the shit there. Yeah. So who do you who do you see who's uh, doing great? Maybe yeah. Shout out my nigga Kesai Fez. He's on the come up. He's gonna kill it. Shout out my nigga. Okay, who? Ah, uh, Kesai Fez. Kesai Fez. Y'all yeah, gonna see him. He's coming up. I was on tour with him uh, this December. All the performances I was doing. Wait, wait, it's coming. It's, it's gonna come here. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm a bit. Hey! I'm a talk to All right, cool. Yeah. Up. Shout out Flash Cortez. He's Flash. One of the homies I used to mentor. Yeah. Yeah. Flash Cortez. His first song was actually produced by me. Really? Are you he's, a producer by the way? I used to be back in the day until oh, I fell yeah. in love with more being an artist side than being a producer. Being a producer. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Flash Cortez. Shout out. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, that's it. The yeah, rest, I thought you were change. gonna mention Dalafem and, and, and. Nah, nigga, and fuck Dalafem, man. <laughs> <You're gonna talk laughs> shit. Wait a minute, hold up. Fuck Dalafem, man. Ain't gonna talk about his ass. What the hell? Get him out of here. <laughs> Nebo? Yeah, shout out Nebo, man. Nebo actually helped me out. My first uh, cover art for my EP. I didn't know what the fuck to do. I sent him some shit. He was like, man, this shit ain't gonna work. He sent me something different. It was so fucking dope. Shout out Neville, man. Always have respect for him. Never since four. Did you see his his, his interview here? Yeah, I think I saw him with the jazz and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 still yeah. Like I saw him, man. Wow. He's putting it on. He's putting it on. Guy's smart, bro. Yeah. But, okay, bro. I, I, I don't know. Like, something just, like, wants me to ask you about why Dalafem not really getting along with you. Ah, uh, Dalafem is crazy because back in the day, we had beef, oh. so even now, cause it's two big cats from Butterfly. Two big cats. Yeah, so that them is big as well. Yeah, he's big. Yeah. You big as well. Yeah. So it's two kings. Yeah. So that wants to rule. It's crazy, bro. But only one has to do yeah, that. So he's gonna have his side. I'm gonna have my side. I'm gonna take the whole side, shit. Plus he ain't rapping anymore, yeah. so fuck that net. It's into events, right? I don't know what it's doing. Yeah, I heard it's into events. Hey, but damn, I'm like, if two great king, great kings, then you know, like, get along, then you guys could uh, do yeah, but better. Yeah, yeah, rapping no more. So I guess the whole side is mine now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And as the home homeboys go go come and fuck it up, like I see Flash Cortez on the rise. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Yeah, Flash is crazy, bro. The the, the the pumbling uh song. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping it's There gonna was go. there was like this time like I, I used to confuse Flash Cortez and Extra. I didn't know which one was which. For real? I think you okay. you guys look alike though. Didn't I tell you this? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> no man, I think I did cuz like uh I told you, I'm not sure if I told Flash Cortez or I told you that the difference was the glasses. Yeah. Wasn't yeah, it you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I think it was him, yeah. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, Flash Cortez, yeah. Extra, thought it was, like, I was, like, confusing the two of you. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, even even when you said you were coming, then I was like, oh, Flash Cortez is coming. <laughs> but then I was like, oh, no, no, it's not Flash, it's Extra. Yeah, it's Extra, yeah. It's big Extra. Flip, have you, have you, have you worked with, 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 with Flash, though? Yeah, we worked on a couple of songs back on the comic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I used to help him. That's all that is it? He's he's gigs. Yeah, I used to help him get gigs. Used to, but yeah. why? Why? Okay, Dalafem, Flash, Nebo. Why all these guys could be used to? Why? Why? Like, what about now? Oh, we're not working now, man. What the hell? We're not why? Okay, now. why? I think I think things change, you know, because um, I used to mentor niggas like Flash, niggas like Kesai Fez. And all those, they used to come to my to my to my spot. I used to teach them how to perform at the back at the back of my home. So <laughs> really, <when> people <laughs> at, uh, Dala Fam had more buzz than me at that time. Oh, yeah. They jumped on Dala side, and me and Dala was kind of not on good oh, terms. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Dala then dropped them, and then they used to talk smack about me. So oh. they forgot everything that I was doing for them or what I did for them. So I was like, all right, man. Right, that was in this. more politics on that. Yeah, it's bro. more politics in this shit, bro. But, um, okay, have you ever, like, released, like, maybe, like, a diss track? Nah, not really. You don't do diss tracks? I don't do Have diss you ever tracks. been dissed? Yeah, they diss me a lot on Facebook. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
big dispute. Tell me about it. It's going crazy, man. Tell me about it, bro. Like, uh, why did they diss you? I don't know, bro. I guess they don't like me. A lot of people don't like me, bro. Is it because girl, a lot of girls like you? I guess so, because the first thing I talk to a nigga is girls. When 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 I meet him, I'm like, yo, my name is Extra. He's going I'm saying, yeah, I'm from Butterfly and stuff. The first thing he's gonna say, I that that Butterfly, that that Oh, <laughs> you know what but I'm, <clears throat> I'm like, that's the only thing you see, nigga. There's a stereotype like that, Korea. I'm Butterfly. There's a lot of chicks, bro. Yeah, but chicks are everywhere, bro. I'm not a Butterfly. I'm blind. I'm not a Butterfly. I'm Yeah. Hey. Nah. Hey. It's crazy. Have you ever been to Bungen, bro? Yeah, I've been to Bungen. A and? Times. I, I think I have an ex in Bungen, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That proves that Bungen has chicks. Sure, yeah, he got some. He but if you were to com- compare Bungen chicks and Butterfly chicks? Damn, bro. I'd say Butterfly. Why? Man. Because, like, you know. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, I understand it's your hood, but then if you were to, like, honestly, you know, rate. Yeah. The chicks from Bungen and Butterfall. Butterfall, man. <laughs> Why? I just Why? like them better, you know what I'm saying? The more clean. Yeah, they got style, the more clean. Yeah, I mean, they, oh, they got style. Clean faster than uh, the Bungen style. Because the Bungen style, me, but I don't have a car right now, so I'm a first have to taxi her back to uh, shit. Then I'm a first have to take her to Ilu. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of. So, yeah, so yeah. Butterfall, man, she just pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> this so guy yeah, is crazy. I, I just fucking with Butterfly, man. So, Butterfly wins? Yeah. Ish! Mutamba, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, extra, bro. <laughs> if you were to. Okay, cool. Yeah, b- yeah before we go there. That song. Uh, Instagram? What? what? Trending on Instagram. Trending on in- Instagram. There's a girl that says something like, why can't you let go extra if famous? Who's that? I don't know that girl. That, Whoa. that clip was actually sent to me by my sister on oh. her birthday when I was still doing my trick. So I, I think it was kind of a birthday present from God, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah? So I kept to that clip. I was like, this has to be on a song. So I saved that clip for years because that song, I actually recorded it this year. But I got the but clip like three years back. Damn. That, oh, wow. That... Wow. Yeah. So my sister sent me that shit. I think it was one of her friends. She was telling my sister, "Oh, I'm telling go extra." E, yeah, whatever she was. Does saying. that mean that she had a crush on you? Yeah, I think she did. Yes. But my sister was caught blocking me. She doesn't hey! a friend. Sister. <laughs> <laughs> sister <laughs> extra. What's up? What's what's what? Uh, ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, but yeah. do you know the girl though? I don't know the girl. And you put her in a song. You don't know the girl. Yeah. What if she like? I don't know. Um. Sue you or something for using her words. I don't give a fuck about that. Hey, as man, long as no. the shit out there, Yo, the artist. As long as the shit out there, people vibe with the shit. The lawsuits can come after. Mara, bro, like I don't know. Uh, Chris Brown Straight. used this other girl's uh, voice on his song. Yeah. Then he mentioned her on the I don't know credits or yeah. something like that. Yeah. But why didn't you do that though? I couldn't because first of all I don't have a context. Second of all, my sister cock blocking me. No. <laughs> Third of all, you know, I couldn't even get to her, bro. I don't have any idea about this person. I don't know anything about this person. I just have the clips and the clips have to work. So do I go around looking for a ghost or I just make music? <laughs> that people are going low, bro. Hey, the artist. Because <laughs> you know uh, Kelvin Momo yeah. uh, did the same thing. For real? Uh, there's this other video that I posted about like uh, my, 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 my niece. She was doing the poem. Yeah. Uh, and all that. Yeah. Then I uploaded that video on 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 on, on YouTube, Straight. and then it got like four thousand views and all that, you know, and stuff like that. Yeah. Then Kelvin Momo dropped uh, uh, is it an album or EP? You go name one la I'm gonna drop it before before you saw one. You go name one, gonna cover, you know, yeah, some greenish thingy yeah. and all that. And there's that song that is called Monam Song. Yeah. And this other guy was playing it and I was like, nah man, I know this voice. Where, where do I know this voice from? 
Then I was like, no, man, this is my niece. For real? Yeah. Damn. Then I don't know when they're trying to contact Kelvin Momo, and then I don't know if like the managers or not. It's a long process, and I don't know what's happening there. Yeah. But uh, this thing of crediting, bro, I think like you artists must take it serious. You yeah, must credit yeah. the people who you are. I don't know. I don't want to use yeah. the word using yeah. on your songs. Straight. But then you have to credit them, bro. Because Chris Brown did that. Yeah. Every person that's on the song actually deserves credit. That's true. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because like, yeah, my cousin, my, my, my niece is really trying to reach out to, 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 to Kelvin, but then his management, I don't know, you know, they're not, they're not you know, having the, 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 the cool, cool uh, conversations so, concerning that. So Kelvin didn't credit her? He didn't. Damn. And obviously, uh, he downloaded the, the video that I uploaded. Damn. Of which maybe I maybe I don't know maybe I should be the one who's contacting him because I'm the one who uploaded the video I don't know. Yeah, That's crazy, bro. And very plus like uh, I was not uh, I don't know uh, uh, registered as in like maybe like the copyright or maybe like uh, this thing yeah 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 the distributions and all that maybe yeah. it would have clicked got a, okay copyright whatever thing. Sure, like yeah, yeah, for sure. But hey, the artist they. Um, Credit <laughs> yeah. one. Nice, nice, no problem, bro. But yeah, you, you should, bro. It's true, yeah. You should, because like this thing of. Do you sample songs? Nah, I haven't gotten to that part yet. Yeah. It can also get you into trouble. Nah. Yeah. There's this other guy, Dizzy V. Yeah. He's my boy. Yeah. Do you know him? Nah. He's from Pungen. He's a very nice, uh, talented uh, young nigga. Yeah. He samples songs. Yeah. So we're gonna just start a song called Missing You. He uploaded it, played it for like a couple of months, you know. And yeah. then one, two, three, they removed the song Damn. of Kabako. Uh copyright for for the sample C D yeah. and all that. Yeah. So imagine man like your song getting nice. wiped because you sample. Nah. Hey, come music industry, bro, there's a lot to be careful. Uh, that's why uh, artists shouldn't handle everything on their own. That's why you should have a team, my boy. Cause oh. yeah, cause mm. right now when you see that fucking meme by Ghana, I mean yeah, the ER is from Show My Jersey and yeah. stuff, but apparently Ghana don't even know enough about that, or maybe he does, but he didn't handle that part. Maybe the producer handled the, that part. Yeah, you understand. So he sent it to somebody else to clear the sample. Oh, so but I didn't see her name on the, you know, like credits and all that. Uh, uh, people were posting she she is on the credits. Really? Yeah, she was also speaking about it on Metro FM and stuff. Yeah, people I, I, I saying, saw that conversation. Uh, it comes from Huku, but she said it comes from Domain Phone. Domain Phone, yeah. Yeah, so she knows, and I'm guessing she got paid, or she's still getting paid from that shit. What the shit? What kind of something? A label is getting paid, who knows? You know, it's contracts. Are Talking there. of labels, yeah. are you on the label? Yeah, I'm on my label. Okay, shout out who? Shout out myself. I'm Indy. Indy? Whoa, whoa, what's what? Okay, what is the name of your label then? I ain't got no name, man. Then why, why are you saying you're in the label, bro? Because <laughs> <laughs> I treat myself like a label. I treat <laughs> oh, like yeah, you treat yourself like a label? Yeah. Everything what? we're doing is like via all the labels in South Africa. Because we started out, they run that shit, and then we just copy paste and everything. Oh. So, it's a label. But, okay. Do you have the, what is it? A manager, maybe? Yeah, I got a manager. His name is, uh, what's his name again? DJ Lolo. So, you know, he's actually from Kalama Production. You lie! Yeah. He's actually from here, right? Yeah! Yeah. You lie! For real. Man, you lie. We'll be touring you know, there with that nigga. You got a black Yaris, we'll be in there with goddamn day. You know. One, two, three, four. The fourth house. For he real? used to stay there. For real? Yeah. Yeah. That's for that. Lie. Yeah, for real, black. Hey, DJ Lolosa. <laughs> really? For real. I got your boy here. Yeah, shout out DJ Lolosa. Man, he been pulling me out. The world is so small. So fucking small, bro. Okay, what is it that he's doing that uh, extra Korean do? Uh, he has more reach, he has more contacts, he has uh, wheels, he has influence. 
Yeah, he's, yeah. he's a DJ. He's a DJ. He's that guy day. DJs. Actually, actually, sometimes you see him, he educates me on the game. This yeah. is how you need to move. Yeah. I seen you doing this, but it's not okay. You need to do this. Wow. I see you taking a picture of this. Don't be saying this. Whoa! Because it's going to fuck up that. Now that like, is a manager yeah, right yeah. there. So I'm like, some of the things I didn't know. Yeah, but may I just be running on a video, blah, 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 blah. It's like, you're going to fuck up that in the future. Don't say this. If they treat you like that, don't do this. Take it with the chest and move. And it's that. Shout out DJ Lolozo. What? DJ Lolozo, bro. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. I thought maybe it was just like, I'm not my name, Janjay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So we need we need more managers like that. I, t- I think artists, most artists need managers who can yeah. do something like that. Straight. Take notes. Straight. Damn. Yeah. So we in this hood right now. <laughs> you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we up in this bitch. We go on the mountain. It's right above Sonny Hill. Yeah. Yeah, shit. Flip. Come back and take a hike. <laughs> oh no, hey, not not here, bro. Why not? It is some I don't know ghost around. <laughs> yeah, Damn, you're gonna go there and you don't come back. But, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a really great mountain. A lot yeah. of people do go there, but not to take like you know the the jumping whatever thing. Just yeah, they, 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 they go hiking, but then you know. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, All right, so cool. Uh, before we go to the end of the show. Yeah. Please tell me, what is it that people think extra is that is actually not? Damn. <laughs> Yo, people think I'm a rich kid. I really come from. Oh, oh, why? Yeah. Because of the drip? Yeah, because of everything that I do, bro. I really come from the dirt, man. I sleep on the floor. <laughs> I'm cabbage. Yeah. I'm really going through it. Bro. I cry at night. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so yeah. they think extra is rich. Yeah. What? Why? Why do you think is that, bro? Is it because you're more clean? Cause like, yeah, the nigga is clean. Yeah, the nigga it, is clean. I guess it's social media and how I sell myself. You know. How do you sell yourself? Yeah. So people don't really know that maybe there's rats climbing my face. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll be eating pop with mass instead of pop with meat. Damn. Yeah, also, really so it. by the time extra gets rich, yeah, they will think you are a millionaire before you become a millionaire. Bro. They will think you're a billionaire when you become a millionaire. It's crazy. Damn. Damn. Keep up the standard, bro. For real, man. Keep up, cause like, bro, like you, you look fresh. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It's not about the money. It's about how you do things. Shout out to the label, man. Which label? <laughs> His label. Myself. <laughs> <laughs> alright, 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 right, cool. We came to the end of the show. My name is Jay. My name My is guest. Extra. Yeah. Tell them where to find your music, bro. You can find me extra underscore ZA every social media platform, every streaming platform, everywhere, man. Let's link up. You follow me, I'll follow you back. I'll show you love. I like your pictures, I like your videos, I like everything. The Let's girls? The girls, I love y'all, man. <laughs> y'all make me who I am, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yo, thank you all. Thank you all for, for watching this episode. My name is Jay, and this is Talk to Jay. Don't forget to subscribe on everything, everywhere. It's YouTube, it's Facebook, it's X, it's Instagram, TikTok. Everything is at Reptap Mag. Use that hashtag, Reptap Mag. Use that hashtag, Talk to Jay. You know what I'm saying? Who do you want to send a shout out to, bro, before we leave? I want to say shout out to my family, shout out to my friends, shout out to my fans too, shout out to my church, man. It's to see up in this bitch, you know what I'm Belita, saying? Belita, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, continue. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was actually like still coming up and stuff, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. when I got prophesied, like, hey, yo, man. Flip, yeah, you said that on the interview. Yeah, I actually got prophesied I'm going to be a big ass musician. But, this is the hip hop. You busy saying bitches and all that, and, and it's against that. I'm like, how, how do you it ain't against that. <laughs> <laughs> they want me to be who I am, man. You know oh, they want you to be who yeah, you are. They don't discriminate me. I still be going to church on a Sunday with my 
So this music thing is like came through prophecy. Yeah, I was actually young as fuck by that time. I, st- I was still in a band. So uh, the band that I was in, the other boy's father was against us rapping. Oh. So he went somewhere in Gauteng. And then they told him because he was trying to get the boy off oh. the, the, the group. You understand? Hey. Trying to stop him from rapping and stuff. So every time I wanted to take the boy to the studio, they'd say, we go in, stay with the kids. So that would fuck us up because then we'll get to gigs late. You understand? Uh, okay. And stuff. So when he came back, it's like, yo, I met this prophet. What do I do? I shouldn't stop you guys from rapping anymore. Oh, because believe it's going to take you somewhere. Or oh, I believe that. So he started becoming more supportive and shit. So yeah. yeah. But the boy gave up. Hey, you know? An extra remain. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's crazy, but <laughs> but I guess it is what it is, man. You know Smitty One, by the way. Yeah, I know Smitty One. Smitty One actually owes me. Oh, hey! He owes me <laughs> money, that nigga, bro. He owes you money. Yeah, Smitty One don't call me on my phone. He said he wants something important. I should hustle up some money so that he can pay cab fee when he gets to ill him. He gets to ill him. This motherfucker, I pay him his cab fee. Guess what he came for? A fucking hookah pen. I'm like, really, nigga? <laughs> you don't love Chava? I need to end him to come and get a hookah pen, nigga. Are you for real? This <laughs> man one is crazy. Even now, all my money, bro, my 20 grand. I want that shit, man. One, if you see this shit, <laughs> he is gonna say it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like uh, the reason why I ask you about Smitty is because, like, when I posted that uh, 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 interview, yeah. I was like, eh, you're not extra. What do you get that motherfucker from? I'm like, oh, okay, you know him? Yeah. But the way you say it, it seems like you guys got, like, sure, you know? Yeah, yeah. But now it's, I, I get it now. It's the 22 rands. Yeah, it's the 22 bucks, yeah. Don't you want to release a song called 22 rands? <laughs> well, we came to the end of the <laughs> show. Do, yeah. My name is Shay. <laughs> Let's do it, man. Rap time. Shout out to Sobo. Yeah. Shout out Dubs. Shout out Lester. Shout out Mr. B. Shout out, uh, hey, I keep on forgetting your name, bro. Yeah. Shout out, uh, Vance. Shout out, Kefilwe team. I see you. Yeah. Shout out, a lot of people, bro. Yeah. Shout out, Bongani, Makondo, mm, brother in law. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, shout out, everyone. You forgot to send a shout out to your, 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 your team, I guess you came with, bro. Shout out TJ in the cup, man. He's the one that takes me videos everywhere that I go. Shout out Craze. He's my road manager, man. He drove us here. You know what I'm saying? Believe that. Yeah, he handles all the duties on the road. Yeah. But these guys are going to working for Reptap, man. You know, like, yeah. Yeah. One day. Let's do That's it. That's a wish. Let's do it. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Believe that.